Hey there, Raw folks. This is Ben, and welcome back to Untold Raw Secrets, where we unravel the juiciest Raw Secrets and expose the controversial truths that the media doesn't want you guys to know. So, ladies and gentlemen, gather round, because today we've delved deep into the twisted world of Meghan and Harry again, the power-hungry couple who just can't seem to get enough of the spotlight. But let's not get distracted by their theatrics. Instead, let's focus on the facts, the jaw-dropping truth that Meghan and Harry want to keep hidden. But hold on, before we get into any cringeworthy moments, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. You won't want to miss what's coming next. So now, Prince Harry, or as some have jokingly referred to him, the doofus of Sussex, has once again managed to disappoint his father and the rest of the royal family. Harry, along with Meghan, has been making the headlines for all the wrong reasons, especially with Meghan and her tendency to play the victim card. It's finally become so predictable. It's as if they're clinging on to the royal names and titles while simultaneously distancing themselves from the spotlight. But here's where it gets interesting, guys. King Charles the wise monarch that he is, has decided to play this game smartly. He's not falling into the trap indulging Harry and Meghan's theatrics. In fact, he's snubbed them on various occasions, in the past refusing to invite them to family events. And you know what? It seems like he doesn't really care. Now, the recent rejection of the birthday invitation is just another move in King Charles's game. He's showing Meghan and Harry that their presence... Or absence doesn't affect him much. He misses his grandchildren, Archie and Lily, you say? Well, if you ask me, he's probably saying that to keep up appearances. In reality, he has other things more important to focus on. Now, let's not forget that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the decision to step back from their royal duties, claiming that they wanted a more private life for their family. But it seems like their definition of private includes constant media attention and public scrutiny. They choose to leave the royal family and yet they seem to be unable to let go completely, always finding ways to insert themselves in the public narrative. Now, as King Charles's 75th birthday approaches, he's preparing for a small gathering with family and close friends. Notice the emphasis on small. He's not interested in grand elaborate celebrations. He values the company of those who genuinely care about it, not those who are simply after the royal spotlight. And guess who won't be there? That's right, Harry, Meghan, Archie and Lily. When Prince Harry attends King Charles's coronation without his family earlier this year, the monarch was said to be disappointed. But was he really? Or was he just playing along to let Harry think that his absence mattered? The truth is that King Charles has a lot of grandchildren to spend time with, and he doesn't need to waste energy on the games Harry and Meghan are playing. So what's your take on this, guys? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.